Our first topic is mobile device behavior over Wi-Fi. Here's a MacBook Air, an iPad, a Windows Surface tablet, and an iPhone 5. All these devices are 11N, but their performance on the network varies like night and day. Most phones support 2.4 GHz and a single stream, which delivers up to 65 megabits per second. But this iPhone 5 actually supports 5 GHz as well, and the wider 40 MHz channel, which kicks its performance up to 150 megabits per second. And when we look at tablets, almost all of them support dual band. And the newest iPads support 150 megabits per second as well. Note that when you compare this with the original iPad, the performance is more than doubled. OK, Ozer, what about this Microsoft tablet? Is it better than iPad? Well, I can't say that it's better, Sylvia, but it certainly is faster. Over Wi-Fi, it supports double streams. So it bumps its performance to 300 megabits per second. OK, and how about laptops like this MacBook Air? Well, most laptops, including the MacBook Air, support three streams and that gets them to 450 megabits per second. So the lesson learned here is you need to be aware of the types of mobile devices in your organization and plan accordingly to the lowest common denominator. Now, let's look at what happens in high density client environments with and without airtime fairness, which ensures that Wi-Fi bandwidth is allocated fairly across the network. The first test measured the time it took a laptop to download a file from Box the cloud-based content sharing service, while in the presence of 14 other mobile devices on the same network. The download time went from 1 16 seconds to 16 seconds when we enabled that airtime fairness. That's a seven-fold improvement. The second test measured the total network performance for upload and download traffic from 20 iPhone 4s. With no special treatment for upstream traffic, the total network throughput was only 6 megabits per second. But with airtime fairness, network capacity improved to 30 megabits per second, and that's a five-fold improvement. Our recommendation is that you use airtime fairness across your Wi-Fi network to ensure that faster mobile devices are not held back by slower ones, particularly in those high-density Wi-Fi environments. Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of ArubaCast. For more information and for the test results we talked about today, visit us online at arubanetworks.com slash mobile apps. Let us know what's on your mind by going to Aruba's community portal, Airhead Social, and be sure to follow us on Twitter, friend us on Facebook. And watch us next time on the next edition of ArubaCast. <laughs>